Hey everybody, uh, this is Joe from Synergy 17 and today uh, what I want to show you is um, something that happens kind of very often when you import your graphics you you think you're gonna be able to cut something and you think it's gonna look one way and it doesn't come out that way so for example um, I'm looking at this star with this part of the circle here and if I was gonna cut this out in vinyl I would think that my cutter would cut along this line and cut along this line here and I'd be able to weed this inner part of the star out but the truth is when you end up cutting you get something like this you end up cutting just a circle and a star you don't get the actual thickness of the line um, this is because the actual line has a stroke on it so if I click on this you'll see that this is a 16 point stroke so I'm gonna go to wireframe and if you notice the wireframe it looks identical to this one here even though um, when I do the fill you know when I show it with the fill it looks different so you see a thickness here and you see just a plain old uh, line here so wireframe mode you see that so what it's doing is um, the stroke around the outline um, is actually you can set that thickness so I can say hairline and it looks like the way it's going to get cut I can say um, you know, two point, uh, ten point, and it starts getting thicker and thicker. The problem, like I said, is your cutter won't cut the way you think. It won't cut this line and cut this line. It's really only going to cut the cut line here. So if you ever want to really cut what you see, you need to um, tell it to make that thickness, that stroke line, an actual cut line. And you do that by clicking on this and going to arrange. It's a convert outline to object. When you click that, it actually makes that line that way. Same thing with the star. I can click on the star and I can say convert outline to object. So now I have these two pieces here. And if I my cutter is going to cut this line and cut this line. And if I really wanted to do these two, I'd actually weld them together like this. And now my cutter would go through and cut this line out and cut this inner line out and I would actually get what I see instead of getting this type of stuff. Um, the same uh, concept is with uh, um, fonts and in, any other object. If I type in, say I type in Energy 17, I made it bigger, and let's just change it to something thick. So, for example, um, right now it's still text, but let's say I'm going to convert it to curves. So you can see that when I click on it, I get the stroke again. And the stroke is like your out, your outside uh, line. So I'm going to change this to, uh, it doesn't matter, blue or something. And then I'm going to apply a stroke. And you'll start to see that as I apply a stroke on it, oops, it gets thicker and thicker. And uh, the same concept, though. If I go to wireframe mode, I see it's just a letter. So even if I thought my cutter would cut the letters out this way, it's not. It's only going to cut the lines out here. So um, that's something uh, it's important to kind of know when you do that. When you bring your graphic, always take a look at your wireframe to make sure that's what you, you know what you see is what you want to get. So go to wireframe mode, and, and you can go to view wireframe mode right here. And uh, that's the way to see what you're really going to cut. Um, like I said, if I really want the black outline to be like that, I can go to arrange convert outline to object. And now I'll have this black part that my, my cutter can cut. Okay, so I hope you learned something. Thanks.